I'm Sara Verdenghi. I'm an assistant research professor at Y Cornell Medical College in New York. Dr. Sarah Gardangi has co-authored several articles on anemia for blood. The lab I work in uh, is um, very focused on uh, translational uh, science. So we really look for uh, studies and work that can benefit uh, the life of patients. Anemia of inflammation is a um, condition that affects patients with uh, chronic illnesses and um, currently there's no, uh, there no specific therapy for this condition. Um, so the things what, what is done is to um, treat the underlying disease uh, when it's possible or to simply manage managing the symptoms. So for this reason, we investigated the molecular mechanism of this condition, and we had a particular focus on the, um, the inflammatory molecules that are responsible for impairing the repla cells production. And we did this with the purpose of uh, um, finding new therapeutic tools for this condition. We decided to publish this work in blood because blood has a central role in hematology research. And so we thought our work is uh, supporting um, new information that are important for the therapy of anemia of inflammation. So what is known uh, is that uh, there are basically two components that contribute to anemia of inflammation. Uh, to simplify, we can say that one is the uh, inflammatory component that includes many inflammatory molecules, and the most important of this is um, IL-6, so it's the cytokines. And the other is the um, iron metabolism component with the hormone epicytin. So um, for the first time, we demonstrated that um, we were able to separate these two, two components um, and investigating what happened in the mouse model when either IL-6 or epicytin are not present. And uh, in, this, in this way, we demonstrated that not only IL-6 and epicytin works in a connected fashion to produce, to cause the of inflammation, but they also have uh, an independent role. And this is important because for the first time we identify a specific role of IL-6 uh, in um, impairing repro cells production. So our way, aim will be to target IL-6 uh, in order to find therapeutic tools for, uh, for this condition. Our work uh, represents an important step in um, elucidating the links between anemia, iron homeostasis and inflammation and also um, adds specific information for the part of hematology that studies uh, disorder of iron metabolism. I think that in the next few years the investigator will uh, go beyond the IL-6 subsiding link uh, and extend the spectrum of investigation to additional inflammatory molecules uh, and particular focus on their, on their pathways. In fact, it's been shown that um, several different inflammatory disease, chronic inflammatory disease, is characterized by the upregulation of not only IL-6, but also um, other inflammatory molecules, uh, such as IL-1, TNF-alpha, or interferon gamma, to make a few examples. And these are molecules that have been shown, uh, independently from epsiding, to um, impair red blood cell production or high metabolism, and therefore causing the anemia. So the future goal will be to um, possibly target these molecules and um, define the, the pathways in which these molecules are involved uh, and uh, create tailored therapies specifically to possibly correct anemia in patients with chronic disease.